So traders, John Howell here. We're gonna be having a short-term technical analysis view on silver and also gold. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, I'm running a webinar today and I'm gonna be teaching you my number one trading system that I've been trading for majority of my trading career. Plus I'm gonna share with you the three secrets that I use to go from $250,000 in debt to making a full-time income. Very first thing in the description, guys, click on that, join me for my next free webinar, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, traders, so let's get straight into today's video. Uh, on a short-term, this is just short-term technical analysis, this is not long-term, okay? Short-term simply means, I hope people realize this, short-term means we can, if we, if we could drop here for a week, or two weeks, and then six months later be up here. You know that can happen, right? Like, there is a difference between where things like, where things ultimately end up, and what happens on the short-term basis. So, looking at the absolute short-term basis on the, on the good old gold market itself, we can see that there's a few things happening here. Let me bring on my trend lines here, and there's a few things that are happening uh, right now by looking at the absolute short-term level. The first level is that I've got this trend line coming through here. See this bottom here? So we've got that bottom point through there. We have that bottom point through there as well too. And then we have this bottom point through here as well too. And so what's happening is we actually had a very strong trend line up, but notice how we're sort of squeezing up into a bit of a, bit of a triangle pattern through here. So we're squeezing up. So it's gonna be really interesting to see where this thing breaks out. Uh, I ultimately, I ultimately think that once we actually see, I ultimately think that once we actually start to see like a 1900 print, then we can start to see uh, a very, very, very nice rise. Again, I still have not my ultimate target is uh, 3000 on the S the, on, on gold. I think by the end of next year, guys, we could, we, we would, we would have experienced uh, a crazy bull market again, like just like we did back here. Um, in in twenty in twenty in tw two thousand and nineteen and also twenty twenty, I believe we're going to experience another good bull market like that moving into next year. But again, the trigger for me to say okay, we're starting that move would be a break above sort of. Uh, I want to see a nineteen hundred print. We start to see a nineteen hundred print, and then that, that's that's that long term view. Okay, so back to the short term analysis, technical analysis. Uh, the thing that I'm noticing through here, we have a lot of support, support level through there, but we also have noticed there's actually a lot of resistance all through right there. As you can see that 1800, uh, $1,810 or $1,810 is definitely a strong area of resistance. And you can see that in the past, we've had a lot of problems rejecting it there, rejecting it all through there. And rejecting it all through there as well too, right? You can see how it's just completely rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it. So that tells me that this level through here is definitely a strong area that's been strong area of, of resistance. Plus also on a short term level as well too, we've actually got a very sort of short term support and resistance going through here as well too, as you can see. So uh, we've got that sort of support level going through there as well too. So we're definitely definitely in a point where it's likely to break. Now, the thing that I do see is that um, I do see the stock market going through a crazy move overall. So therefore, I believe gold and silver are going to go up as well too, okay? Um, I believe we're going to see a crazy move in, in most asset prices to the upside, a crazy, crazy move. Then that is likely to be followed by um, a devastating crash. And in that crash, we're probably gonna see gold and silver get hammered as well too. But that's probably gonna come from much, much, much higher prices. So um, again, based on this short-term analysis, we have this 1800 at a $10 level. Once we break above, if we can break above here, then we can see a nice rise up. But the thing is, is that it depend on, depends on where it breaks out. If we break to the downside here, then we could start to see a move back down towards 1600. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what actually goes on uh, through there. So, so that's what I'm looking at there with gold, guys. There's just a few levels that I'm focusing on there. Let's go have a look at silver right now. Let's have a look at silver for the last sort of three months or so. 
Uh, the first thing is that we have definitely, Silver's been definitely, definitely a lot weaker. Um, just, 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 just very, very, very weak, right? We had this very short-term rise and then suddenly we started to collapse to, to, to the downside. Uh, movement is on the downside is very, very, very weak. So I wouldn't want to be fighting this at all. I would expect Silver to, to break. There's this level down the bottom here. Okay, there's this level down the bottom here. Which is that ultimate level through there, that 2150 level, 2150 level. And that, what, that through there, and then we have that level through there. So uh, that's the level that I see the uh, the silver market at. You can see where that's that's obviously what's happening through there. Um, so I do believe that we're likely to flush down and we're likely to break down below these supports. The reason why is because a lot of the times the market will get so close to these levels here, that there's a lot of supports. There's a lot of support been happening behind here. Support, 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 support. Uh, sorry, stop losses. There's a lot of stop losses happening behind this level through here. So therefore, uh, the market loves to trigger them. So it's going to be really interesting to see whether we do get that. We are in a very big downward trend through here. So I wouldn't want to be fighting this right now. Even if we do get a little bit of a pullback, we'd want to see this thing start to really develop an upward trend. But not like gold. Gold is actually... Yeah, it had a bit of a sell-off, but we've got a very good flattening period through here. We haven't got a very... Notice how we got a, a movement down for a few days and then sideways. If we go have a look at, if, if we go have a look at silver, then you can see silver actually had a very, 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 very strong move down. So silver is actually a lot more, a lot more strong, a lot more weaker than gold. Gold actually broke through here and then went sideways. Where silver, as you can see, silver actually continued down from there to there. We do have on a short term level, guys. We do have like that, like a bit of a short term sort of, uh, short term sort of channel happening through here. As you can see, we're having that short term channel. So we do have a bit of a short term, again, this, this short term sort of uh, level that's happening through there. So that's going to be really interesting. But the silver is very, very, very weak right now. Let's go have a look at the uh, the gold mining stocks, the GDXJ. And very, very strong downward trend through here, right? We have a move down, we had a rally up, lower high. We've come back down, come back up. Now we've got another lower high and we're rolling over. So the mining sector is actually not looking too strong right now. So the thing that we're looking at here, right, we can see that the mining sector is not looking too strong there. So we're probably likely to start to see some mo more movement on the downside. We've got this movement on the downside right now. Uh, we've actually broken this low from there to there, lower low, and then a lower high. So, so we could actually start to see a continuation on the downside. Um, and then looking at the silver mining sector, silver mining sector, the exact same thing. You can see how that we had this low through here. So that was that low. We ran up, came a higher low, ran up, then came back straight back down, and then held there for a while. As you can see, there's a lot of support all around here. There's a lot of sort of confluence, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of support through level three. And then we had that lot, a bit of a bounce through there as well too. So we had the breaking down, and then now we had to rally up. Now we're developing another little high and we're rolling over. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we started to see something more like this happening within the mining sector and we start to break this low through here because that's that major low and then once again there's probably going to be a lot of a lot of support level a lot of stops below that low now that last significant low and then and then we're probably likely to do that i believe we're likely to get some sort of a capitulation out of the mining sector um again that may not happen the only thing is i, I i'm very bullish this you know for investing purposes guys um, I'm very bullish long term. I believe we're going to be experiencing, you know, crazy moves to the upside. But um, but we may need to shake the weak hands out first a bit more before we start to see that. But I do believe what we've been experiencing since two since uh, if we have a look at say the monthly charts here for a minute, the we'll go back to we'll bring, we'll bring it back to big picture now, right? You can see here that on a monthly level, we've just been developing this sort of sideways sort of flag formation, really. So once again, we want to start to see this thing start to break above here. We Once we start to see that, we're probably going to start to see that rise. And that's the same for even the um, the, the GDX as well too. Look at the GDX, right? Big movement down. All right, not much going on. Same for the GDXJ, as you can see. And the GDXJ is one that is, develop is, is just developing a beautiful, beautiful pattern through here. So... This tells me right here 
that once the GDXJ starts to break above, say, 50 through there, uh, that there to me is breaking out of this downward trend. And as you can see, it's just been very, very, very weak on the downside, right? Very, very, very weak. So we once we actually start to break above here, right, the key is to wait for the break. When we start the wait, when we start to get the break, then we'll start with, then we're probably going to start to see a very nice movement up. Now, it's not going to be like that, traders. We're going to see, I hope you... Um, some people just think, oh, we're gonna we're gonna see a moon action, and then the next day it does that. <laughs> it's like John, you said it's gonna moon action. Um, the reality of what some people think about these markets and the truth is 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 completely different. Right? Even Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin made what? Bitcoin went from ten to sixty in guess how long? Six months. Oh my goodness! The market does that for two or two or three days or for a week, and you're freaking out. Okay, you got to understand that. So once we break out, yeah, we could see a big move up and then we could see a pullback for a week or two or for a month and then another big move up and then so on and so forth, okay? So that's what's probably going to be a trajectory and that, that, that move there. So over a couple of year period, that's what I say we're likely to see that. So there we go, traders. There's a bit of a short-term TA on you, but also mixed in with a bit of long-term analysis as well too. So traders, make sure you join my webinar, link description in the chat box below, because on that webinar, I'm going to share with you exactly, uh, firstly, exactly where I went wrong and why I lost $250,000 in trading, but what made me come back and do well. But also, secondly, uh, I'm going to share with you exactly my number one trader trading system that I use across all markets. And then also I want to share with you how I scan the markets, how I find the really good opportunities, the good trades, uh, and so on and so forth. So, And plus I'm also going to talk more about some personal stories that I'm not really that comfortable talking about much on YouTube, but on that webinar you will see some more, more about me personally and so on and so forth. So link in the description guys, go click on that and I'll see you in the next video.